<laughs> Yo, what's up, Tio from Nation? It's me, the Tio from Monster here again. So, yeah, uh, it's been a while since this came out digitally, and I have not watched it. But anyway, <clears throat> we're watching Rascal Does Not Dream of a Knapsack Kid. From what I remember, the title, yeah. So it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while since I watched uh, the Rascal Does a Dream series or Station Buta series. So yeah, okay, yeah, I was right on the title. Okay. Um, from what I remember, it's not on Crunchyroll, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm not going to be watching this. It's only. An hour and 14 minutes long of a movie with credits. Okay, so it's not that long, but it's gonna be a good experience. So I'm, I'm gonna watch this right now. I didn't watch this in theaters because uh, I'm saving money and at the same time, you know how it is. So yeah, YouTube things, you guys want me to react. Unfortunately, I can't watch this legally on the streaming platforms because it's not out yet um but yeah i'm going to watch the university arc series which is yeah it's a series that's going to come out in 2025 next year um i'm going to be watching that as a time code reaction again but uh yeah for a movie as always i'm gonna do this as a time code reaction for youtube people and for my Patreon, I will be uploading the full reaction with the visual and the audio clearly and everything that's not filtered out. So, yeah. Anyway, let's jump right into this. Uh, after the last time, I think I gave it an 8 out of 10. Yeah. The uh, the sister uh, venture out. It's, 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 yeah, <laughs> that, series, that movie. So far, my favorite of of the three movies is still the rascal doesn't dream of a dreaming girl that's still my favorite that by far is my favorite and that made me cry <laughs> the last movie did not make me cry but this one i don't know if it'll make me cry because i don't know what this series or what this movie arc is all about uh we got a small glimpse and short tease about this one uh my being a kid again so yeah let's jump right into this here yeah. anyway uh, Patreon shout out obviously goes to these lovely members over on my Patreon to get the full access, full reaction with the audio and the visual. So yeah. Anyway, before we begin, please drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. It helps my YouTube <laughs> as well. So yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, turn the post notice on. So there we go. And if I could please drop us on that channel. With that being said, without further ado, without further delay, let's get right into it. Enderplex. Ah uh, yes, Kadokawa. Let me higher up the volume. It's a uh, very low. March first. Oh. Wait, is my going to graduate right? My is older. Yeah, what happened? I don't... Yeah, it's been teased. Knapsack kid. Yeah, that did happen. <laughs> uh, talk about petty. <laughs> She's cute. Ah. Uh, 
or a hen. What? What? Look back. What the f Yeah. What? Yeah, I guess so. Um Uh, looking at <laughs> oh, yeah ow <laughs> dirty oh Kasan is it yeah, <laughs> okay. That's cute though. <laughs> the way they're holding hands. Right, that did happen. What? You're good with this? Okay. That's uh way smoother than I expected, but okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I picked him carefully, yeah. Well trained. Okay. Of course. Why is that a question mark? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> <coughs> Ah. What? Still okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, they distinct the Chan and Sun, okay. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. Even my mom says that. When you have a kid, you'll understand. <laughs> that is why I do have a kid. If I well, but first I don't have a wife. I don't have a girlfriend, not once. So how the fuck am I supposed to know? Sorry for language. What? There's a new... What? <laughs> oh... <laughs> The subtitles are sometimes a bit off. I noticed. True, yeah. <laughs> oh I'm surprised that you're letting us see your scenes when you were a kid Ah, <laughs> smooth. Ow. <laughs> Identical. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that makes sense as to why she handed out that. Siscon Idol. What? <laughs> <clears throat> what? <laughs> 
Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do zoo. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hmm. I love their relationship, bro. I'm glad that we're having this again. I'm glad that they're the focus today. Not again. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah. Imagine Kaide walks in again. <laughs> oh. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> uh, fun. Oh. I'm down bad, bro. Don't you dare. Kaida, don't walk in. Fuck's sake. What is it now? Yeah, I don't fucking care. I'm gonna kiss. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yes! <laughs> no interruption, please. Don't. Okay. Mm. We better get a kiss after this movie, alright? In this movie. Not after this movie. In this movie. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why so salty? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> is that?
Yeah, so that's the girl from the last movie. Or woman. Yeah, yeah. If you're not really close enough with your parents. Unlike me and my mom, we're actually pretty close. So we both know each other. Very well. Even though I hide something, she knows. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. Oh, nice. <laughs>
Oh, come on. Not yet. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> I really love the balance between the humor and the seriousness tone of this series a lot. From what I heard, I don't know if I read it right. It's the same author as the Pet Girl of Sakurasa, right? I don't know if I remember it right. <clears throat> what? What? What happened? No way! No way! He got that the puberty syndrome or adult syndrome from my. It's the same thing as my. Yeah! What? No fucking way! What? Oh, whoa. <clears throat> you see that? Bro, that transition dissolve on the door. Why is it not ringing? What the fuck? Wait, that's why I can't, I'm kind of weirded out. Did their mom actually see Sakuta? I don't fucking know, bro. It was weird. He's losing strength. Wow. I thought this was a focus on my, but it's actually a focus on him this time.
What? The mom doesn't see him. I knew it. I knew that was so sus. When he said, "I'm leave. Uh, I'll come back, mom." The mom didn't even respond. Right? I knew it's gonna be the room I <coughs> Yeah, apparently What? Huh? What? How the fuck? What? I had a weird nightmare, but what the fuck? The what?
I'm completely not fine after what just happened. Wait, it's not there. Oh, wait, it's still there. Uh, what? What? When was that? Oh, wait. I think, okay, I think. I am madly confused right now. Okay, wait, wait a second. Nothing. What? <laughs> yeah, if this Oh, hi, I'm not a ghost now. <laughs> what the f- Okay. <laughs> yeah, who's my girlfriend? Okay. <laughs> okay, still the same. But like, what the fuck is happening? This is a weird adolescent syndrome. I'm definitely going crazy right now. What the fuck is happening? The movie is like 15 minutes away to end. Or more than 15 minutes actually. 20, 20 something minutes. <clears throat> wow, you can see me today. Okay. Yeah, I'm not in the right mind right now because I have no fucking idea what's going on. What? What the fuck are we actually like Steins gating this shit? Although, so this is the beta world line?
Oh. <laughs> uh <laughs> uh eh. Free coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. what? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Hi. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a, a very 
dream like place yeah growing <laughs> oh Sure, no one's here. It's the same field. My son, Skida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was peak. She can see him.
Yeah, th that's what I thought. Get a girl like my... Wow. Still no one. <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm glad that they're actually bringing this up because they were like totally snubbed out of the series until now. She has a point, true.
Oh. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi you. Ha <laughs> What? <laughs> What? Oh, I will. I'm gonna introduce my precious soon to be wife. I prefer this movie than the last one. I'm sorry. <laughs> right off the bat, I'm saying that right now. I prefer this movie a lot more. Although it's still not the, you know, better than Dreaming Girl, but still, you know. I think I'd rank this as third. We got Dreaming Girl, Bunny Girl Senpai, Knapsack Kid, and then Sister Venturing Out. <laughs> well, that's that.
I was... No. Wow, that's how they end the movie? That was actually way, way too powerful. That was a powerful ending. Yeah, I prefer this movie than the last one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like <clears throat> this has a much stronger, powerful emotion in this story. It has way more heart into it. Not that the last one doesn't have a heart, but I feel like it's just Kaide finding her her true self, you know, and not be a copy of the other Kaide. Be yourself. Unlike this one, it's facing your parents. So the knapsack kid's role was actually just to bring Sakuta to the other world. Which is like the dreamland of Sakuta's, uh, you know, dream of having this kind of life. So that's basically her role. And that's why she keeps popping off. And the reason why I think I prefer this one, it's not just because of the uh, impactful emotional story between Sakuta and his mom I think it's because of their family as a whole and for Sakuta to actually look at her at his mom you know and at the same time uh, the powerful uh, strong relationship between Mai and Sakuta that that's my favorite dynamic ever since uh, Bunny Girl Senpai and that kind of lost its uh you know power in the last movie although it's still there but not as much as this one this one has way more uh p powerful and relationship dynamic between Sakata and Mai so I, I prefer this one when it comes to their relationship with their couple banter and their flirtatious talk and at the same time when it comes to seriousness and drama they are there for each other and that's what I missed on the last movie, on the, the Dreaming Girl. The Dreaming Girl is still by far my favorite because I, I genuinely cried in that movie. Although this one, I almost teared up. It was very powerful, especially if you're, you know, really close to your family. It hits home. So I'm glad that I watched this movie. I think this is by far... Yeah, my ranking is still the same. 
uh, Dreaming Girl, Bunny Girl Senpai, uh, Knapsack Kid, and then Sister Venturing Out. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm glad that they kept this ending theme. I love this ending theme. I wonder if they're going to still keep this ending theme on the uh, university series. Oh, there is more. A cutie. Oh, maybe it's the girl from the other world. What's her name? Oh! Shoko! Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> what is it? That was a peak movie. <laughs> It's the girl, right? Hey. So, you mean to say that the girl from... Hold on a second. Let me uh, check something. No, Kirishima told... Who is... Wait a second. Okay, I am genuinely confused now. Volume 11. Dari. So, that's a new character. I thought for sure that was... The, the other girl that was introduced earlier, but no, it isn't. Okay. So, we're done with uh, Rascal Does Not Dream of a Knapsack Kid. So, okay. Hold on a second. Let me check. It won't be the same score as the other one because I prefer this movie. I think I, I did. I think I did give it an 8 out of 10. Hold on a second. Always got to double check. You never know. Okay, I gave it a 9 out of 10. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to lower that score. <laughs> I don't want to do it, but I will. Because, okay, 8 out of 10 isn't a bad score, okay? I've been genuinely been critiquing a lot lately ever since I got into the film industry. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but this movie has a lot more emotions into it. I rated Bonnie Girl Senpai 9.5 out of 10. I rated Dreaming Girl a 10 out of 10. I rated the Sister Venturing Out movie 
a 9 out of 10 on camera but I will lower it to 8 out of 10 and then I'll put knapsack kid a 9 out of 10 okay there you go that's my score for knapsack kid because I genuinely prefer this movie okay it's not that I'm dissing the the sister venturing out movie it's just that I feel like this movie is much better okay genuinely I think it's just objectively better I, I get that some people were confused about some of this like the knapsack kid we didn't really get an answer to that anyway I think for me this has more emotion more heart into it compared to the last movie last movie was just her finding her true self and that's okay that still has a heart in it but if you want a strong powerful emotional story then this one is it but if you want a peak emotional storytelling dreaming girl is the best one <laughs> okay so that's why i rated it a 10 but for this one i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 it's not perfect i still have some uh some questions like the knapsack kid like she's just there to for the plot but unlike dreaming girl shoko appears because she is important to the story like she's not just there to drive the story forward but actually is not just a plot device you know anyway that's why i love dreaming girl but for this one i think uh it falls short on the knapsack kid so yeah but overall though i still love the story it has a strong impactful story com compared to the last one so no wonder why the the score is much higher compared to the last one the sister venturing out movie so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching um i think that's about it i'm gonna catch you guys on the university arc because i feel like that's gonna be good because i i think i have a friend that actually reads the series the light novel I didn't question her though if she is reading it, but she's a big fan of the series. I'm a fan of the series, but not as big as her. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, that is it for uh Seishin Butayeroa series. So yeah. Or Seishin Butayero. Yeah, Rascal Doesn't Dream series. For now, until we go into the university arc for next year. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one which is next year so yeah i'll see you guys then peace out